Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm saw makeup because I have been cleaning and organizing my beauty room the whole entire day. And so because I've been cleaning, it kind of inspired me to do another declutter. I know how much you guys enjoy watching them and I really feel like it was, it was due. Today we're gonna be focusing on cream and liquid blush, bronzer, and highlighters. I would love if you guys could let me know in the comments what other categories you'd like to see me declutter next because I could definitely keep going. So first I'm gonna give you guys a quick little overview of what the drawer looks like before we start decluttering. And as you can see, it's gross. <laughs> it's an absolute disaster. Things are everywhere. It's barely even organized at this point. So we really have a lot of work ahead of us. So without further ado, let's actually get into it. All right, guys. So we are first going to start off with my cream and liquid bronzers. Now, if you are new to my declutters, basically what I do is I typically separate my products in three different categories. So I separate it between products that I'm keeping, which in this case, I'm going to put right in the middle. The products that I'm going to be throwing out, that means they're old nobody's gonna want them I'm gonna put them on the left hand side at least my left hand side and then the products that I'm gonna be donating are gonna be going on the right hand side we're first gonna start off with an easy one this is the cream contour slash bronzer from Huda Beauty I do have three shades because these were sent to me in PR I have rich medium and light I do also have fair but it is in my vanity because it is a product that I use quite often. I am gonna get rid of these two deeper shades because I have never used them. They're just way too dark for me. So I am actually going to donate them because like I said, they have never been used. So the Huda Beauty Tantor is by far one of my favorite cream bronzers. I do switch between the shades light and fair just depending on where my skin tone is at. Um, the only thing that you kind of gotta be careful with this product is that it's really, 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 really pigmented. So I really feel like this is not a great cream bronzer to use if you're just starting out, if you want a cream bronzer that's kind of foolproof, this really isn't it because you gotta be kind of careful when you're using it because if you over apply cream, it can get really messy really quickly and it could just kind of go all over your face. So you do wanna be pretty careful when you are applying this product. Um, but if you do apply it, you know, in the correct way, I just feel like it gives such a pretty effect to the skin. I also find this to be a very, very long wearing cream product. Um, a lot of creams tend to kind of wear off the skin fairly quickly just because they're creams and creams don't last as long as powders. But I do actually find that this one sets down nicely on the skin and almost sets down to like a powdery finish, which is really great. This product is also kind of like a full glam cream bronzer. Normally with cream products, I like them because they're more on the natural side. Side. This isn't really the case with this guy. This isn't like a super quote unquote like natural cream product because it is so pigmented and almost gives a bit of like coverage to the skin. Like it's very full on. So I actually really like this product. When I do go to events, I layer it often with a powder on top to really lock it in. So I'm gonna keep the light which is gonna be over here, and I'm gonna be donating the two other shades. Okay, next up, let's do another easy one. This is my Nude Six Bondi Bay. If you've been around on my channel for literally any amount of time, you know how much I love my Nude Six Bondi Bay. It's definitely one of my favorite cream bronzers. I do feel like this is definitely one of those foolproof cream bronzers. It's very, very easy to use because it's a fairly sheer product. Obviously, it doesn't really look like it right now because I just swatched it straight from the little tube, but once you actually blend it out, it becomes really really nice and sheer on the skin, which is beautiful, especially when you want something really natural looking, if you wanna look like naturally sun-kissed. Because this is a little bit more on the emollient side, it's a very kind of like glowy product. It doesn't last as long as say like the Huda Beauty um, cream bronzer, which is probably the only downside, but for every day, it's a really beautiful product. So next up, this is the Do The Hula bronzer from Benefit. This is actually a liquid bronzer. I don't even know why I still have this in my collection because this is probably one of my least favorite bronzers. The color of this is ridiculous. It is such an orange product. I don't even know what skin tone this would suit. I just feel like it's way, 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 way too orange. Um, you kind of look like an Oompa Loompa with this, unfortunately. I do actually like the formula of it, so it's just unfortunate that the color just isn't quite right, so I am going to actually throw this one out because it's quite old. Next up, this is actually a Tom Ford product. It always kills me when I don't like a Tom Ford product for obvious reasons because they're so freaking expensive. This is the bronzing primer and this was one of the most disappointing products for me. It's kind of similar to the Benefit uh, Do The Hula in that the color is just horrible. It's a really, really orange 
bronzer shade but besides even the color the formula is a little bit weird I actually find once you start to blend it into your skin it, it's the weirdest thing but I almost find like holes start to form when you start to blend it in so it just looks really really patchy so not only are you super orange but you're also kind of a patchy mess using this product I just have never been able to make it work so I am finally going to get rid of this next up we have my drunk elephant de bronzy anti-pollution sunshine drops this is actually another one of my favorite products this is a little bit more unique because it's a product that you kind of have to mix in with either your moisturizer, your foundation, a serum, your SPF, any other product it's not meant to actually use on its own. And then it kind of just adds a really nice bronzy tint to whatever product you put it in. And I actually really like this, especially for every day when I don't really want to wear makeup, but I still want to add a little bit of color to my face. I love mixing this in with my moisturizer. Keeping it. Got some drugstore contour sticks over here. I'm not gonna keep all of these, but some of these here I actually do really like, like this Pixie by Petra um, Multi Bomb Sh in Sheer Sculpt. This is one of my favorite contour sticks. The color of this is literally perfect for a contour shade if you are on the light fair side. It's just like the most perfect, neutrally cool toned color. It really looks like a shadow on the skin. That's why I love it. I also do really like the formula of these bombs. They're very, very, very just again, really easy to work with. They blend out easily. Um, they give a nice like glossy finish to the skin. So I love this. I'm definitely going to be keeping it. I am going to get rid of though the Wet n Wild contour stick as well as this Maybelline dual ended contour stick. I just don't really find I ever reach for them. Uh, I don't not like them for really any particular reason. I just literally don't really use them. However, I'm actually going to keep this foundation from Maybelline that I actually like to use as a bronzer. This is the Fit Me Shine Free and Balanced Foundation in the shade Toffee. And this actually is such a beautiful bronzer shade. It is a foundation, but the shade really is pretty perfect. I do really, really like this product, so I am going to be keeping it. By the way, if you're wondering why suddenly the lighting just changed a little bit, it's because I shifted my camera so that you guys can see the swatches a little bit better. Let's continue. Oh, this is an old, old favorite of mine. It is the Cover FX Custom Enhancing Drops in the shade Sunkissed, I believe. All the writing on this has pretty much completely rubbed off, but this used to be one of my favorite, favorite, favorite um, liquid bronzers. Unfortunately, I have had this for years. And the thing with creams and liquids is you really don't want to keep them past their expiration dates because they do go bad a little bit quicker than powders, actually a lot quicker. Uh, this is definitely still not good. And this kills me to get rid of this product because this uh, is no longer available. So I can't even restock, which is kind of unfortunate. But I mean, I had a good run with it. It was wonderful. Just, you know. Kind of gross now. This is probably the very first contour product I ever, ever bought myself. I will never forget watching one of Desi Perkins' original contour videos where she used this Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the shade Almond number seven, and she used this to contour her face, and I went to Sephora like the next day, and I purchased this. So this is pretty much a foundation stick. Honestly, this product works really well. The color is beautiful, but I've had this in my collection for way too long. This has like a 12-month uh throw out date and I've had this for maybe like four or five years so that's gross but it is good and I do actually really enjoy using um cream foundations as bronzers slash contours because I do find that they last a really long time on the skin like I had mentioned earlier normally products like this are a little bit more emollient they're not quite as long lasting whereas a foundation product is going to like stick onto the skin for you know a little bit of a, of a longer period. So if you're looking for something more long wearing, definitely try out a foundation stick. This over here is actually a limited edition product from MAC. It's the face and body in medium deep pearl. And it's pretty much a product that you would mix in with your foundation to like bronzify it. And I actually do quite like this, even though it looks really, really orange when you swatch it. But when you mix this in with the foundation, it actually does a really nice job of kind of warming things up. And it does also have a bit of like a highlight to it as well. So it does make your foundation a little bit glowy. This is also a limited edition product, so I am going to keep it. Similar to that, this is the Burberry, um, what are you? This is the Fresh Glow Golden Radiance in number two. This is similar to the um, MAC face and body thing, but this is more of like a highlighting product than even a bronzing product. It's just in a bronzy shade. So this is something else that I would use to kind of mix in with my foundation if I wanna add a little bit of a glow and a little bit of a bronze 
bronzy effect to it. Um, but it's not quite as intense as the MAC one, but it's still a really beautiful product and I actually really, really love it. I also have it in a lighter shade when I don't want more of a bronzier tint and I adore that product, so I am gonna keep it. Next up, we got two cream contour palettes here that look pretty much identical, so I'm not gonna keep both of them. This one is the Lumi Sheer Trio from Hourglass, and this is the Sculpting Palette from Makeup Forever. I actually really love both of these, especially the Hourglass one. I've used it to death. It's just a really beautiful formula. These shades honestly are totally foolproof if you're looking for really, really easy creams to work with. I don't even know if they still sell this. I don't know if they're, it's being discontinued or if they're reformulated or, or what, but I know there was something going on with this that it wasn't totally available at one point. I don't know if that's still the case, but if you are able to get your hands on this, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous cream palette. I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna get rid of this. Next up, I have this Marc Jacobs highlighter in the shade Fantasy Dewdrops. This is just a very, very bronzy highlighter. It's actually really, really gorgeous on the skin. You would think in the bottle, when you look at it, it looks really, really dark and very intimidating. But once you actually blend it out on your on your skin, it kind of just gives you that bronzy golden glow without even much color to it. This is a highlighter. I honestly don't know why it's in this bin, but I am going to keep it. But I'm going to have to like switch it to the highlighter been when I get there. This is probably one of my very, very first cream bronzers that I ever bought myself. It is a YouTube classic. This is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. Um, I bought this because literally everybody was talking about it. It's really not one of my favorite cream bronzers. I don't like it. I don't really like the color of it. I don't like the way it applies. I don't like the smell. It's very perfumey. Um, this has been in my collection for far too long too. I definitely need to get rid of it. So it's going away. This over here is probably one of the most underrated uh, liquid bronzers. It is the Neod Photography Fluid Opacity 8%. This was actually recommended to me in one of my subscribers choose my makeup videos and I'm forever grateful because I'm obsessed with this product. As you can see, it's kind of like this bronzy gold liquid, but when you blend it out, it actually shears out quite a bit and it gives you the most amazing golden bronzed glow. I mean, look at that. It's so freaking pretty. It's almost like not so much a highlighter. It's not so much like just a liquid bronzer. It's almost right in the middle. It's that perfect hybrid and it just makes your skin look stunning. I like mixing this in with my foundation. I like using it on its own. It's a gorgeous product, so totally keeping it. This over here is an old favorite. It is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun uh, serum bronzer. I've actually used this on my channel quite a bit at one point. It's a serum like formula as you can see It's really really watery um, So when you apply it to your skin, it just looks very natural looking because it really just blends into the skin pretty seamlessly It's a really great product, but honestly, it's old <laughs> and I just shouldn't keep it anymore So I'm gonna get rid of it, but I will actually probably repurchase this if it's even still available, I'm not even sure. Three more products here. We've got the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. This is the Fenty Amber Match Sticks and then this uh, Nude Sticks Contour Pencil. So I'm going to keep the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. You guys know this is one of my favorite cream bronzers. It just blends well, it applies well. I love the color. This over here is actually another one of my favorite cream contours. It's a really, really, really cool tone contour. If you're very, very fair, you would really like this because it will really suit your skin tone. I can only really use this when I am really fair, otherwise it looks too gray on me, but um, it's one of the only cream contours that I found that it is this cool tone, so I am gonna keep it. This guy from Nude Sticks is actually a really, really similar color to the Fenty Match Sticks, so I really don't feel like I need both, and I don't love, 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 love the formula of the contour pencil from Nude Six. It's not my favorite product from them, so I'm, I'm gonna get rid of it. All right, that's actually it, so let's reorganize. I can't even believe how much better that is. So we are done with the bronzers. Let's move on now to blush. All right, the blushes are very, very intense. I have so many in here. It's gonna take a while, so let's just get right into it. So starting off first with some new favorites of mine. These are from M Cosmetics, and they are called the... I actually don't know what they're called, but they're basically the serum blushes. Uh, the light pink one is called Rose Milk. I love that name. Soft Amethyst, and then this one is Sunset Sky. I just love a good serum because I feel like it really meshes into the skin in a very flattering, soft, and natural way. So I am going to be keeping them. These are my Nude 6 Nudies. Again, if you've been around on my channel for any amount of time, you know that I love these. They're probably some of my favorite cream blushes. They're some of my go-tos. I really love the new formula. 
that they came out with called the Nudie's Bloom. Um, these are a little bit more glowy compared to the original formula. So they do have a little bit more of like that sheen to them, which just looks so pretty and glossy on the cheeks. This color here is Deep Maple A, which actually could be used as a bronzer, but that's just the difference between both of the formulas. This one you can see is way glossier. This one is more of like just a softer sheen, but obviously gonna be keeping all of these because I love them to death. This one, by the way, Sweet Peach Peony, probably one of my favorites in that collection. This over here is a face gloss from Stila in the shade Enchanted. And this is pretty much like a rosy cheek topper highlighter type product. It's really honestly very, very pretty. There's a lot of like multi-dimensional sparkle in here, but it's just not really a product that I would ever really use. So I am going to declutter that one. Glossy Cloud Paints, another one of my favorite liquid blush formulas. I absolutely adore these. These are also really easy to use. What I also really like about Cloud Paints is because they are liquid, you could very easily mix them together to create your own like unique shades, which is just really fun. Makes them really versatile. Um, you could use these all over the face too, on the cheeks, on on the lips, on the eyes, really wherever you want. So, I mean, obviously gonna be keeping these. These are the Lancome monochromatic um, blushes. These are actually very interesting. They're kind of not your typical cream blush at all. They almost feel kind of like a ColourPop blush, almost a little bit powdery, but also a little bit creamy. It's that hybrid formula. Because it does have that powdery formula, this is like a more long wearing product compared to something more creamy, like, like the Nude 6 ones, for example. Um, and it just gives a really pretty kind of stained effect to the skin, which I do really like. So I'm not gonna keep all of these, but I'm, I'm gonna keep some just because it is kind of a unique-ish formula. So I'm gonna keep this shade, which is called Soiree. I'm gonna get rid though of these two shades. The brown one is called Ooh La La and the pink one is called Petit Bisou. Just really not uh, my favorite shades, so I'm gonna get rid of those. This over here is a very, very, very balmy product from Bobbi Brown. It is called the Cheek Glow Palette and this is definitely a very, very glowy cheek product. It's probably one of the wettest cheek products that I have. Like. This literally like will slide off of your cheeks. Honestly, I'm not a fan of the way it wears, but I really do love the color of this blush. It's really pretty, but I think I am gonna get rid of it even though this was a favorite of mine for a while. These are more of the Pixie Multi Bombs. I am gonna get rid of these, not because I don't like them. As you guys saw before, I did keep the sheer sculpt, but because they are so similar to the Nude Sticks ones, I feel like it's they're almost too similar to keep both. So I'm just going to pass them along. These are the ColourPop Stick Blushes. I am going to keep them. I know it's a lot to keep, but I haven't really properly tried them yet and I definitely want to give them a chance before I decide. So I'm gonna keep these in the collection for now. Got this Pixie um, Cheek Gel. This is pretty much like a cheek stain, not really my thing, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Got some of these um, Milk Makeup Cheek Sticks. Okay, this one has something growing on the top of it. That looks so gross, so we're gonna have to throw that one out. I am gonna donate these three because I haven't used them yet. These two are double anyway. Um, and just because, you know, I have so many sticks here, I definitely don't need more. And these aren't like so incredible that I feel like I have to keep them. Oh my God, I loved these. I totally forgot about them. These are the Lancome Cushion Blushes. At one point, I was absolutely obsessed with these for good reason. They are so, so beautiful. Again, just so natural looking. And I just like the way that they sit on the skin. This color is so gorgeous. It is the shade Sorbet Grenadine. And I feel like I need to remember to use them a little bit more often. And then there's this really fun orange shade here, which which I definitely want to use more in Splash Orange. Got this Ilia Cream Blush in the shade At Last. I am not a big fan of the Ilia Cream Blushes. I just don't find them to be really anything special. They're a little bit too sheer for my liking too. These are the Glow Oils from Milk Makeup. I actually tried these in my Full Face and Milk Makeup video and I absolutely adored them. They're just really, really, really glowy, oil-based blushes, kind of unique. I don't really have anything else quite like it that is this formula. And I do really like how small and mini they are. They don't they don't take up a lot of room in my collection. So I am gonna keep these because unlike these guys from Milk, I feel like they're a little bit unique and worth keeping. I've got these three cream blushes from Lila B. These are really gorgeous, gorgeous cream blushes. First of all, the packaging is just to die for. I think I am going to keep though just this shade over here, which is the red. And this is in the shade Bead Cheeky, only because I I don't really have any other creams that are quite this color and it's a really fun color I think to have around. So I'm gonna keep that one and I am going to get rid of both of these because 
honestly, they're really pretty, but they just don't scream excitement to me. This Oaken Fort blush is actually so unique. It is in the shade uh, Clay, and it's such an interesting color. It's almost like a burnt brownie reddish terracotta shade, really unlike anything else I've ever, ever seen. And this is one of those colors that gives your cheeks that like sunburnt effect, which is just really pretty if you wanna look really nice and sun-kissed. Because the color is so unique, I have to keep it. Got this cream blush from Lancome in the shade 208, Rosé La La. It is so bright and intense, just really not my thing. We gotta get rid of this one. This is the Kosas Velvet Melon Cream Blush Duo. Um, you have a highlighter and a blush in here. This is actually a really pretty product. It's very, 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 very emollient, similar to that Bobbi Brown Duo that I showed you guys before. I don't know if I wanna keep it. I do really like this product because it just gives your cheeks the most amazing kind of like glowy effect, but it's so emollient that it really kind of slips off the face, but I just think this color is so much fun. It's like this creamsicle shade. I don't really have anything else quite like it in my collection right now, so you know what, I think I'm gonna keep it. I got these two cream duos from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is in the shade Pretty Fresh. This one is in the shade Seduce Blush. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna get rid of both of these. I never ever reach for them. I mean, I'm keeping so many creams and liquids, I gotta be a little bit picky, and these are just not like my favorite formula ever, so I'm gonna give them away. Got two of these liquid NARS blushes. This is Hot Tin Roof and Orgasm. I'm gonna get rid of Orgasm just because I have so many orgasm type products. I feel like I don't need uh, the liquid version either. Uh, this shade though is really unique. It's called Hot Tin Roof, like I said. Actually almost similar to the clay color from Oaken Fort. Very unique again, and so I am gonna keep it. This guy is from Bird's Bees. It's the Glow in the shade Peach Pond. I actually really love these from Bird's Bees, so I'm gonna keep this one. Uh, I know I'm keeping so many cream blushes but I think what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna just quickly go through these ColourPop ones that I'm keeping because I think it's kind of silly now that I'm thinking about it that I didn't even open them and see if I even like the colors so let's go through them okay this one is mini me it's kind of like a soft baby pink I'm gonna keep that guy infinite only which is kind of like a reddish color I'm actually gonna donate that one this is 24 8 just kind of like a nude I'm gonna donate that one this is cool it a cool tone pink I'm gonna get rid of that one this one is called Aloha, which is actually a really interesting nude. Very unique, so I am gonna keep this one. Hooked kind of looks just like Aloha. I'm gonna get rid of it. Oh God, okay, it's a good thing I went through these. And then lastly, we got Pretty Thing. Ooh, that's a pretty fuchsia. I'm gonna keep this one. Oh my God, this is so much better. Okay, perfect, we are all done. All right, next moving on to kind of just highlighters, but there's also, a, I think, a mix of some blushes in here. I don't know, there's a little bit of everything. Things got a little bit scrambled, but let's just jump right into this disgusting mess. All right, similar to the blush drawer, I have a bunch of these ColourPop sticks, so let's just go through them quickly to see which ones I actually wanna keep. Okay, this is a bright gold, I'm not gonna keep it. It is in the shade uh, Bullseye. This one's very pretty. It's in the shade Star Bright and it's kind of like a vanilla shade. Whoa, look at that. Whew, it's actually gorgeous. I'm gonna keep that guy. This is like a purple reflex, not really my thing. In the shade Flying High, gotta get rid of it. Then we have Earth, which is a really pretty kind of like pinky toned highlight. Ooh, that's actually very, very pretty as well. I'm gonna keep it. All right, similar to my Sun Kiss from Cover FX, this is the Celestial. It's a beautiful product, but it's so old, I should not keep it, even though I really, really want to. I did love this so much though at one point, so we're gonna have to get rid of that, unfortunately. This is the Elia Essential Face Palette. Pretty much a quad of four cream blushes. I don't know why I still have this. I did actually mention this as one of my least favorite cream blush products in my five best, five worst creams. But uh, yeah, I still have it and I think I am gonna get rid of it. Finally, what I don't like about this product is that it's so sheer that it literally just disappears onto the skin and becomes pretty much nothing once you blend it in, which I feel like is kind of pointless, especially for any product that you put on your face because if you're gonna be putting anything on your face, it should show up. Uh, so it's just not really my thing. 
gonna get rid of it. Got more of these Ilia cheek products, which like I mentioned, just not a big fan of, so I'm going to put those aside as well. This is the Josie Moran Vibrancy Cheek Palette. I actually really did not love this when I tried it. I think it was in my clean beauty video that I did. I just have a reach for it since that video, and I feel like, you know, if I liked it, I probably would have. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Got this um, Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops. This one is in the shade Starlight. I actually do really like these luminizing drops. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one though because it is that pinkier shade. And I don't really use these like pinky highlighters as much as I feel like I used to. Although it is like really, really pretty. But with the highlighters, I am really trying to be as selective as possible because at the end of the day, most of them kind of look exactly the same, so I'm really just trying to keep the formulas and the colors that I know I love instead of just keeping 20 that are pretty much identical. This is such an underrated product. It's so old too, but I think I'm gonna keep it. It's the MAC Cream Color Base in Shell. This is probably one of the most beautiful highlighters. Whenever I apply this, I'm always just shocked at how gorgeous and glossy my cheeks look. It's a really great product, so I'm gonna keep that guy. I'm not gonna swatch these highlighters because they literally will just look glossy on my hands, no matter what, so it's kind of pointless. This is the um, highlighting fluid from Urban Decay Naked Skin. Didn't really love this, so I am gonna get rid of it. Oh my God. This is such a classic product, Benefit What's Up. Such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cream highlighter. I feel like this is an oldie but a goodie. You can't forget about, you know, those like old highlighters that just do the skin so, so good. I remember being really obsessed with this after I found out that um, Make It By Mario used this on Kim Kardashian. And uh, I kind of haven't, haven't used it in a really long time, but I should because, I mean, it's freaking glossy gorgeousness. Got this Clinique Chubby Stick um, Sculpting Highlight. This is a pretty highlight, but really nothing too special, so goodbye. These are the Hourglass Vanish Highlighting Sticks. Um, these are really beautiful. However, I don't need to keep all of them because not all shades um, go well with my skin tone. This one is in the shade Rose Gold Flash. It's a really pretty rose gold that's not too pink, actually. This is Pink Flash, which is Again, very pretty, but it's a little bit too pink for me, so I am going to pass this one along. And then we have Bronze Flash, which just does not suit my skin tone at all. It's way too bronzy, so I'm gonna pass this one along as well. Then we have my Glossier highlights here. I've had these literally since Glossier released them, which is gross. <laughs> so needless to say, I shouldn't keep them any longer, but they are beautiful, very natural, natural looking, like purely glossy, cream highlighters. I mean, there's not much else to say about them. This is the Nude 6 Illuminati. I really do love Nude 6 Hey Honey, which is like the more goldy version of this highlighter. This one is more of like a clear with a little bit of like a purple pink iridescent to it, which is pretty, but like I said, I'm not really into those types of highlighters anymore, so I am gonna get rid of this one just because I never reach for it anymore. These are the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquids. These are actually gorgeous. I have 100 light and 300 deep gold. The only thing that I don't like about these is I feel like the color just isn't quite right for me. The deep gold is too gold. The 100 light works. I just find sometimes it could be a little bit too light for me, especially if I have a little bit of a tan. But um, when I am more on the fairer side, this is still such a beautiful product. So you know what? I think I'm gonna keep this for when I am when I become more fair, which is bound to happen in the winter time. But I'm gonna get rid of deep gold because it's just a little bit too gold bronzy. As you can see, it like literally shows up as a stripe on my skin. Okay, I got so many ColourPop highlighters here. Um, I definitely don't need to keep all of them. This one is Monster, used to be one of my favorites. It's another one of those that has like a pink shift to it. It's pretty, but like I said, don't love that anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This is probably one of my favorites, the shade Frosted. It's a really pretty kind of like soft bronzy gold. I love the ColourPop highlighters, guys. It's just, it's so gorgeous. When I have a tan, this color is beautiful, so I'm gonna keep this. This one is in the shade Scrumptious. It's a little bit more of like a frosty pink. Not really my favorite undertone, so I'm gonna put that one aside. Then we have Candyman, which is a really, really deep, kind of like bronzy shade. It's pretty, but it's a little bit too dark, like way too dark, as you can see, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Glaze is another really pretty one, but I almost find this one is a little bit too silver, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then the last one that I have here is Iced, which it's just kind of way too dark for me. So that was easy, getting rid of all of those but one. Uh, but then we have Electric Slide, which is a classic for me. I absolutely love this. I think this is 
one of the most beautiful highlighters that they have. It's kind of just like the perfect gold if you're not super, super tan, but you still want to have a gold highlighter. This is a really pretty shade. Even if you are a little bit more on the tan or deeper side, this is still a really pretty one. This Makeup Forever Ultra HD um, liquid, just gonna pass on it. It's not really anything special. This over here is a Laura Mercier liquid face illuminator. It's just too dark for me. It's a really dark bronze color. So I'm going to donate that one. It's never been used. This is the Fenty matchsticks in the shade starstruck. It, it is a pretty highlighter. I just don't really love the formula of the highlighter. It's a very, very dry. It's not a super creamy one. So I feel like it's kind of like annoying to apply. Uh, and it's just, I don't know, it's pretty, but it's just nothing too crazy special. So I'm going to pass that one. These wild cell highlighters are actually quite Quite nice. I'm going to pass on the pink one though, and I'm going to keep this like white gold one. With, there's no name, it's, but it's called the Touche Clad Glow Shot. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I actually love this product. I love applying it in my foundations to add a little bit of a glow. It's from the drugstore. It's great, so I'm going to keep it. These um, Glowgasm Beauty Light Wands from Charlotte Tilbury are absolutely beautiful. This one is kind of like a bronzy gold, but it's a bronze without being too bronze, which is what I like about it. So I am gonna keep it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light one. It's the original one in Spotlight. Probably one of the most beautiful um, liquid highlighters. One of my favorites for sure. It's just like beyond stunning, so I'm keeping it. Then we have the Burt's Bees A Glow Illuminator. This one is in the shade Opal Mist. It's kind of a dupe for the Glossier highlighter. So because I am getting rid of that Glossier one and it's so similar to it, I'm gonna keep this one. This is a highlighter from Milk. It's the Lit Highlighter. It's a beautiful one. Um, every time I use this, after not using it for a while, I kind of question why I did that to myself because it's such a pretty product. I love the shade of it. It's kind of a really soft like bronze. So guys, that's actually it. Let's reorganize. There you have it, so much better. So guys, that's all I'm gonna be doing for my declutter today. I do actually have a few more bins in that drawer that I kind of have to go through, but I didn't want this video to be 30 million years long, so we're gonna stop it here. So now it's the moment that you've been waiting for. Let's see what the drawer looks like now that it's been partially decluttered. I know we haven't done the whole entire thing, but I'm telling you, it's still gonna be very, very, very satisfying. From what I did go through, I think I actually did get rid of like maybe two thirds of my collection, which is pretty great. All right, guys, that is it for today's declutter. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to, again, let me know what you'd like to see me declutter next. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy declutters, and of course, subscribe if you wanna join the fam, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.